From the Sports Broadcasting Camp, this is Sports Broadcasting Center. I'm Cal Friedman, along with our partner, Dylan Goldman. The New York Yankees officially retired Derek Jeter's number two jersey in a pregame ceremony prior to their game against the Houston Astros. Jeter played for the Yankees for 20 seasons and was a 14-time All-Star, while leading the Yanks to five World Series titles. He was also named New York's captain from 2003 through 2014 and ended his Hall of Fame career as the franchise all-time leader in hits. Football news, the Cleveland Browns selected defensive end Miles Garrett with the first pick in the 2017 NFL Draft. In three years at Texas A&M, Garrett produced 141 tackles, 47 of those tackles were for loss, and 31 sacks. He was named first team All-American following his sophomore and junior seasons. Quarterback Deshaun Watson, who led the Clemson Tigers to the national title last year, was picked 12th by the Houston Texans. To the NBA. Cleveland Cavaliers star LeBron James matched a record with his 11th All-NBA first team selection. While Houston guard James Harden was the only unanimous choice, the NBA announced. Joining James and Harden were Thunder guard Russell Westbrook, Spurs forward Kawhi Leonard, and Pelican center Anthony Davis. LeBron joined Kobe Bryant and Karl Malone as the only players in NBA history to make the first team 11 times. Now on to hockey. The Pittsburgh Penguins defeated the Ottawa Senators 3-2 in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals, advancing to the Stanley Cup for the second straight year. Chris Kunitz scored the game-winning goal in double overtime helping the Penguins to the finals where they meet the Nashville Predators. Pittsburgh is trying to become the first NHL team to win back-to-back -back cups since the Red Wings did it in 1998. And finally, former NFL and college football coach Chip Kelly is joining ESPN as a studio analyst next season. Kelly coached the Eagles and the 49ers following a tremendous four-year stint as head coach at the University of Oregon. Kelly will primarily be part of Saturday pregame as well as halftime and wrap-up shows on ESPN2. He will also provide NFL analysis on Sundays during SportsCenter. That will wrap it up for Sports Broadcasting Center. For my partner, Dylan Goldman, I'm Cal Friedman, and good night.